Hi everyone, welcome to Patty Puckett Pouring Art. Today I'm going to be doing um, a Shelly Art swipe, a pseudo swipe, which means, I think what it means is when you swipe, you leave some areas that aren't swiped and then when you tilt it gives you different effects. So let me go through the colors real quick. Um, I have a lot of them. So this is orange with a golden red light and a clementine, I think, I'm not sure what the clementine, maybe I think that's a pigment. This one is Artist Loft Violet with Primary Element Snapdragon. This one is Artist Loft Gold and 24 Karat. This one is Pueblo Blue Green and Golden Teal. Uh, the Golden Teal is a pigment also. This is Artist Loft Neon Pink. This is Golden Yellow Medium Basics, Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. This one is Color Cottage Grumbacher, Color Cottage Totally Teal with Grumbacher Turquoise Green. This is Van Dyke Brown, Creative Inspirations. And what is this? Chocolate chocolate brown metallic folk art mixed together. So what I do is I write, the, write it down on the lids. These are dollar store. I can, when I clean them out, I can wipe this off with alcohol and write on them again. A little tip. So today my cell activator is going to be with Australian Floetrol only. And it's three to one Amsterdam black op oxide. So it's this flow trawl. Get it on eBay. Um, you can go 50 50 too with US flow trawl. And my recipe is down in the description for both the Australian flow trawl and the US flow trawl. My medium I'm using is 50% the high gloss interior. HD GTV Sherman Williams Ultra Deep Base. My medium that's 50% that, 50% Joe Sonia varnish, and 25% polycrylic. So these two mixed together 50 50, and then 50% of the HGTV Sherman Williams. So that's what's in all the paints here, and down below is the recipe. Um, you can use, instead of the polycrylic, you can use, um, I'm sorry, instead of the Joe Sonia, Sonia, you can use a bright tone, which is a great varnish for all your paintings, um, but you can also use it as a medium in the Shelley Art Technique paints. All right, well, let's get started. I'm gonna use these little paint samples for swiping. Oh, I wanted to show you a couple. I love these, this color. These are really pretty, like peacock colors. So this is a example of a pseudo swipe, where you still have, where you swipe and you get the cells and then you have some open areas. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Of course, I'm using a ton of different colors no idea. Now my base paint or my pillow paint as it's called is the color place classic white ready to use interior satin. That's also down below. This red top is very convenient so you'll see that at my Amazon links. All right let's get going. Sure, I have plenty. This is an eight by eight square canvas. Have it taped on the back. 
and the big push pins under. Okay, I don't know if that's enough. I'm going to add just a little bit more. I do use a lot of this paint. <clears throat> okay, I am going to put a torch to it. I usually don't, but it does have a lot of air bubbles, so real quick. Also, I like to go like that. That helps pop them. Okay, let's get started. Let's go with, um, I'm going to start with the brown. This brown is really pretty. I'm just going to go in whatever whatever feels right. No rhyme or reason. You can play tic-tac-toe. Okay. That's a teal color. I like browns and blues together. Okay, no rhyme or reason here. <clears throat> and we're probably going to make some pretty green with this yellow. I love this Artist Loft neon pink. I just think it gives paintings that pop that they need sometimes. <clears throat> and I'm not sure they still sell this. I haven't seen it on the shelf in a long time. You know, just like they quit making the Artist Loft gold in the big containers. I'm thinking someone said they quit making that. So that's a bummer because that gold was actually pretty good value. This PBO blue green is really pretty. This is the Deco Art 24 Karat mixed with the Artist Loft Gold. Oh, by the way, I think I forgot to mention that <clears throat> in the orange and the teal, I put some Artist Loft iridescent medium. Just a little bit. Just gives it a little twinkle. No idea. You know, I want to do a big, I'm, I'm using up a lot of the paints that I've already had mixed. I just sort of want to use them up. When I put this on, I'll probably be at the Oregon coast. So I wanted to use some paint. I'll be doing my editing there. Can't wait. Going to Newport for 10 days. We'll be on the river for three days. Got to get out of the heat. I love orange. Anyway, I love orange in the pores. Who else is sick of the heat? Of course, in the winter, we'll be griping it's too cold. So, okay, I'm going to pour some the black cell activator on this tile. And I'm going to get going. So just, so 
I will be tilting this too, so. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. It might be a muddy mess for all I know. Now I'm not pushing real hard. I'm not going down. into the white. I'm laying it in, just laying it on there. I might have too much white. Feels like there's a lot. <clears throat> so the problem with having too much is you have to tilt off a lot. And then you end up losing your, your design. So ready for this COVID to be over. At least in Oregon, we can go in restaurants inside and eat. So I'm happy about that. We'll be doing a lot of um, eating at my friend's RV. So we'll be like sort of camping, but we'll be in a a studio apartment very close across the street from that I probably shouldn't have added that extra white when I did Our county here in California, we can eat outside restaurants. Um, we can still have our hair done, our nails done. We're one of the counties, I don't know how many counties there are, but there's more counties that you can't do that than there are that you can. So we're a small town, we're lucky our county allows that. So. So I do want to leave some areas that's not swiped. Okay, I think that's all I want to do with the swiping. So now for the tilting. Oh, it looks messy. Next time I won't put so much pillow paint on because I'm going to lose a bunch of this that I have going. A lot of sparkles in there. It's got to be from that iridescent medium. I don't think the gold would be that sparkly. a whole bunch of that so I'm gonna go back <clears throat> to this corner There's still a lot of paint on there
yeah, next time I don't need that much paint. I had to tilt so much off. That's cool. I might be able to get away with saving it just like that. All right, I'm gonna get rid of a few measles and I'll be right back. Okay, I got rid of all the measles. All right. So I think I had too much base on there. The good thing about having a lot of base is you could stretch it a long way so you get these big cells or webbing. Um, the bad thing is I think it, it the, the colors get faded the more you stretch it. So there's probably a happy medium in there. So a little less base would have been good. Not sure about the brown in this one. I, I like the brown, but that's another thing. You stretch it too much and it just fades out. It does have a lot of sparkle to it. So anyway, check out my recipe if you want to take the Shelly Art class technique. Um, well, it's a t it's an online class. You can take it any time you want. Um, I have discount code below. I also have a lot of these materials in my Amazon links below and this recipe. So thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to leave tomorrow to the Oregon coast to cool off. Hope you're staying cool. Stay safe. Bye.